Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Showers and a couple of thunderstorms moved into the Tennessee Valley this afternoon, and we're still talking about a little bit of rain this evening. Pinpoint Viper picking up on some scattered showers across northwest Alabama, Lauderdale, Coburn, Franklin County. Some pockets of heavier rain beginning to move through Limestone County and then up into southern middle Tennessee. For the most part, we are dry across the I-65 corridor until you get up into southern middle Tennessee. Then we are beginning to talk about just a little rain across I-65. We're also talking about a couple of scattered showers across northeast Alabama, mostly Jackson, portions of DeKalb and Marshall Counties. Maybe even talking about a couple of showers across southern Morgan County and then across different portions of Coleman County as well. All of this is associated with our next system. Our next system involves an area of low pressure and an associated cold front. The cold front is eventually going to move through North Alabama, southern Middle Tennessee. Look at all this precipitation out ahead of the cold front back across Mississippi. All of that is also going to move through the Tennessee Valley. The good news about this is that most of that precipitation is going to move through the Tennessee Valley while you're asleep. This is what Futurecast looks like to 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Widespread rain across all of North Alabama, southern middle Tennessee. Maybe some heavier showers up across southern middle Tennessee. All of this continues to push through the Tennessee Valley very, very early Friday morning. By the time we get to the morning commute, look what we're left with. We're left with just a couple of scattered showers. Still, if you are heading to work tomorrow morning, maybe allow yourself a couple of extra minutes. Grab a raincoat or at the very least, grab an umbrella, at least for the morning. I don't think you're going to need it in the afternoon because the cold front swings through and we begin to see some immediate improvement. The rain comes to an end and we begin to lose a lot of the cloud cover. The cloud cover is going to continue to fade through the remainder of the afternoon into the evening through the overnight and then early into your Saturday morning. Behind that cold front is going to be a much drier and a much clearer air mass. Plenty of sunshine to start the day Saturday. That sunshine, that dry air, that's going to stick with us through Saturday afternoon. As a matter of fact, it's going to stick with us through the entirety of the holiday weekend. Really is going to be a beautiful weekend across the Tennessee Valley. Look at this. I've got 83 degrees on Saturday. Our average high temperature right around 90 or 91. We warm up a little bit for the 4th of July. We start the day right around 60. We'll finish the day right around 86. Dew points are going to be in the mid number 50s. That's something that is nearly unheard of this time of year. There are a lot of events going on across the Tennessee Valley this weekend, and I hope you're able to go out and attend some of those. We've put together a really nice comprehensive list of all of those different events, and you can get that list texted literally right to you that easy text fireworks to 256-382-2692 we'll send you a list of all of the fourth of july activities going on across the tennessee valley this weekend now y'all know i love a good climate stat we've gone back to the year 2000 and looked back over the last 20 years the hottest fourth of july was 2012 the high was 102 the coldest fourth of july was 2013 the high was just 74 degrees out of the last 20 years only nine of them saw a high temperature that was less than or equal to 90 degrees. Have a good look at the next seven days. Overall, it's a very nice seven-day forecast. We just got to get through Friday, and more specifically, we got to get through Friday morning. Monday and Tuesday are going to be a little warmer. Still plenty of sunshine on Monday. I've got a high right around 91. It's a good thing Monday looks good because that'll be the day most people have off work. That's right, and we're all looking forward to the weekend, but we got to get through tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So if you're headed to work pretty early, like Jordan said, remember that umbrella, right? Yeah, remember the umbrella. Oh, and don't forget to turn your headlights on if your windshield wipers are going. That's actually yes. like a law. Yes, please, because I've seen it. Uh, oh, audio. they don't. Yes. People, not I've enough people it. follow that rule. They don't. They uh -uh. don't. And we'll call you out. All right, thanks, Jordan.